everyone. Welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I have another Dollar Tree DIY project for you for Easter. This is one of those bunny containers that comes apart in two pieces. And he is about 10 inches tall. So for this project, um, being from up above was kind of going to be difficult. So I'm going to try this new camera angle. And you guys can let me know what you think of it. But what this project is going to take is lots of hot glue. So I've got my hot glue gun heating up. You need one of these bunnies. Make sure that it snaps together really well because you don't want it to come apart after the project is done. And I have purchased three packages of the green floral moss. I'm only opening two because I really honestly don't know how much it's going to take. And I put two of the two of the packages of moss into this tray and I'm just kind of breaking it up because it's pretty compressed inside of that package. I don't want to break it up into teeny tiny little things but I don't want these big bricks of moss either. So I've got the moss and I'm going to start with the bunny and the idea here is to cover the entire bunny in the green moss. So. I'm going to lay him down, her it down, and I think I'm going to start right here on the ears. And so I'm just putting hot glue all over the ears, and I'm going to mash on this green moss. I'm going to kind of squish it down onto the plastic and rub off the extra. Okay, I still want it to look like a bunny when I'm all done, so I don't want it to be too shaggy. Okay, this is going to be a messy project. If you have a place where you could do this outside, that would probably be a really good option for you. Just make sure you've got lots of hot glue on hand because that's what's going to attach this. I don't know, you could maybe, maybe, I don't know, use um, Mod Podge. I'm not sure how that would stick and how long it would take to dry. So. Maybe. I don't know. If you try it and it works for you, let me know. Okay, so I'm just <laughs> mashing it on here. I'm going to continue to do this the whole way around the bunny. I am working with rather big spots of glue because I think it, I think it can handle it. <laughs> Make sure you've got plenty of moss in between that hot glue in your hand when you're squishing it on. Then once it has time to cool, that's when you can go through and pull and squish and there is that point where the glue cools down enough that you can touch it without burning yourself but it's still warm enough to stick to things and pliable just trying to cover all the purple so far that's what the ears are looking like Oop. that's what I mean about keeping it make sure that it comes together don't push too hard I guess you could tape this shut with um, duct tape or like Gorilla duct tape would be really good. In fact, I might stop and do that. All right, well, my Gorilla tape seems to have run away. So I'm just going to wipe off the sides here and I'm just going to put some pa painter's tape on there and hope for the best. I mean, this sticks pretty well to, or stays close pretty well, but I just don't want to risk it coming apart once I get the moss all over it. Just make sure that your guy is clean before you put the tape down or it won't stick. Okay, that'll help keep them together. All right, now I've got all the difficult parts done, so this should go pretty quickly, I hope. I'm just shooting glue all over. Grab a bunch of moss and squish it on. You can do it dainty and do little tiny bits and pieces if you want. Totally up to you. I prefer to go a little faster. I'm a messy crafter and I think you all know that by now. <laughs> Mark off whatever's loose. This 
the scrunching it will kind of break up the moss too like i say you're gonna go through a lot of glue doing it my way but it's gonna be a lot faster than a little dab here and a little bit of moss there you do what works best for you if you don't like this technique and you want to go with a little handful of moss at a time with a dot of glue you go right ahead and do that that will work perfectly fine i just want to get this done i'm coming to the point where it's getting close to easter and i want to get the easter crafts done so y'all can have some ideas and get them done for yourselves as well some of these crafts that i'm doing for easter absolutely can stay up all spring and i'm thinking this little moss bunny is going to be one of those things i'm hoping <laughs> a few little spots of purple that are um, showing through that's okay I'm going to go back at the end and finish clean all those up right now we're 11 minutes in and the head of the bunny is completely covered all right now I'm gonna go down the side I'm not gonna go on to the bottom of the bunny I can even bring the bunny over and roll him in the moss if I'm having troubles with my hands getting burnt. I just kind of wanted to get some glue over this tape to help hold it on. I want this to look like compressed moss, so that's why I'm packing it in. So I'm trying to pack the moss on tightly and crunch away anything that's not stuck down. I'm just checking the head and the neck area as I'm going through and just looking to make sure covering up anything that's poking through. And just wherever I see purple, I'm just putting a little dab of glue and popping in some moss. I like this little finer crunched up more kind of dusty like stuff to fill in the little holes. So it really gets in there and sticks to the glue. And I'm just kind of taking my fingers very gently ruffling it up to break off anything that's extra and that is loose. Okay, and that glue is still pretty warm on that side, so I'm going to stop pulling it off and let it harden up a little bit and work on the other side. If you wanted to do this with Mod Podge, you probably could, but I would put like duct tape or something on it because I just don't know how Mod Podge would stick to the plastic or maybe you could spray paint it with a primer maybe that would be enough I don't know but this is going through the way I'm doing it anyway a lot of hot glue and maybe you would use less by putting down a dab of glue and a handful of, you know a pinch or two of moss but I just don't want it to take all day <laughs> Now, they have more than just this green moss at the Dollar Tree. They have like a kind of a brown colored moss as well. So you could choose whichever moss you like. I just like the way this covers. And I know they've had some packages I've seen on other YouTubers uh, that have like little pine cones and things in it. And that'd be really cool because you could put like a pine cone up here on the ear like for a little bow there's just so much you could do with all that extra natural stuff that would go so nicely with the moss now I'm just going through and making sure everything on here is stuck down and what isn't pulling it off and I'm gonna compact it a little bit more because it's still warm in places so I can still manipulate it a little bit Okay, now I'm going to really crunch some of this up into little bits and I'm really going to use some of this little dusty stuff that's um, accumulated in the bottom of the tin 
and I'm going to go through and very carefully put spots of glue where I still see purple showing through and use that really fine stuff to cover up. And I'm really checking. Oh, down here I didn't get down far enough. I'm really looking and trying to fill it in and have it look nice. I knew it was going to use a lot of hot glue, but it's using a lot. A lot, a lot. Okay, so I don't know, can you see? See how I'm just kind of seeing little bits of purple through here, like right there? So I'm just going to put a line of glue just in that, that spot and get this really fine stuff in there that's going to stick really, really well. Take it in. I don't want to get too close to the bottom because I want it to be able to stand up on its own. And I'm thinking I might glue a disc of wood to the bottom just for a little extra weight and support. Give them a good rub down when you think you're done, because I guarantee something's going to fall off and you're going to need to go fix it. <laughs> you could even uh, spray paint your bunny green if you don't want to have the risk of all this little stuff peeking through, um, or even black. Anything that is a natural color. I think he's pretty well covered. I'll let the glue harden for a few minutes and I'll be right back. Alright, I think the next thing this bunny needs is a little bow. I also have some floral. I don't know if I'm going to use that or not. So I have this blue, kind of faded denim blue scarf uh, from the Dollar Tree. And it's an infinity scarf, so I'm going to cut it apart because I don't want it to be an infinity scarf. I'm just going to cut it at the seam. And um, if you buy one of these scarves, pay attention to it because after I got home, I they had two of them, and so I bought both. And there's a lot of like misprint of like right here it almost looks like a watermark water stain kind of a thing so yeah anyway I was really liking this blue in my Easter decor I don't usually do much for Easter but I just kind of wanted to see what I could do and I did my other big bunny he's right here I did my big bunny with this scarf and so I was hoping that I could use the same blue scarf on this guy and that would kind of tie it all together. Just kind of tie the bunnies together. All right, I'm going to cut this off. <laughs> and the bunny kind of disappears behind the scarf. So I'm going to try something else. I'm going to try cutting this scarf in half so it'll probably fray on me and that's a risk that I'm going to take I'm just kind of finding which line is halfway and I'm gonna go with it I'm just gonna cut down using the print as my guide Because right now this is just too much fabric around that bunny's neck. I can't see any of the bunny's body. And if this is too much, then I'll just do a burlap bow. And that will be okay too. So now I'm going to shorten this. I 
I think I like that, but I think I want to move it to where it's over to the side a little bit. So I'm going to pull it over here and tie it to the side. I've got lots of fraying happening and you know what I'm okay with that because that just kind of makes it look a little more rustic and farmhouse to me yeah I like that much better now I was going to do some greenery and maybe a floral up on top but I don't think it needs it I don't want to overdo it I think the idea behind a moss anything is just for it to be simple now I'm going to mitre fishtail, whatever you want to call it, the edges of my scarf. I don't know if that helps or hinders, but it's got a lot of little strings coming off of it. All right. I could take a stiffen quick, well, that fabric stiffener I use from time to time, and stiffen this up, but I kind of just like the softness of it. So I don't think I'm going to worry about it. I think I am going to stop and leave him right in that condition. All right, guys. This has been my Easter Bunny project, moss-covered Easter Bunny project. It's really simple, not a lot of decorating to it. There's about $3 into the project plus glue sticks. And um, like I say, he's about 10 or 12 inches tall. And he is a Dollar Tree DIY. So if you like this project, please give it a thumbs up in the comment section below and let me know what you think about this project. If you don't like the project, give it a thumbs down. Every interaction that you do with my channel helps my channel to grow and I really appreciate that. So give it a thumbs up if you like it and that lets me also know what kinds of things you want to see me doing on the channel. Now I have some channel changes coming up that I've been working on. Uh, a lot of you have been asking for different camera angles, so this is one. Let me know what you think about that camera angle in the comments below as well. I also am going, I'm working on getting a nice backdrop going in my uh, craft room so that I can make nice videos and actually show you my face a little bit more and be a little more in the videos than I have been with just my hands. So I am working on that and hopefully that will be done this weekend. So be watching for some changes and as you see changes happening, let me know if you like them or not. Okay. All right. I hope you like this one because I sure do and he's going to look really cute in my Easter display. So this has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay away from that corona coronavirus and keep yourself at a safe social distance. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.